Good afternoon, everyone. This is EKB News reporter Chris Anderson. I'm reporting live from Jenkins Lake in Jenkins, Kentucky, where, as you can see behind me, I'm going to step out of the way here so you can see, the Jenkins Lake Dam is overflowing. Now, let me put this into perspective for you really quick. Anybody that's familiar with Jenkins, anybody that's lived in Jenkins, knows that this is not a, an uncommon sight in Jenkins whenever we have a heavy rainfall. All this is is really just indicative of a good heavy rainfall uh, event. But also to put it into perspective, this is more water than what typically comes over the dam. As you can see, this white pipe right over here is close to where the actual spillway is for the dam. So that is typically where your water comes down. That's typically the amount of water that comes down. This is obviously more water, and this is an obvious overflow of the dam. Now, what happens here, this water comes down the dam, goes into Elkhorn Creek, which is just out of view over that direction, and it goes to main Elkhorn Creek, which is over that direction. That water gets into Elkhorn Creek, raises Elkhorn Creek, and that water runs down the creek and to the Russell Fork River at Elkhorn City where it converges with the Russell Fork and swells that river. I just came by main Elkhorn Creek just a few moments ago, and it is still running very big. It has come down some, though. Just as I showed you last night, that line of debris along the bank is still there but it's a little bit further away from the, from the water. But it is still running big, and we got a little bit more rain coming this afternoon, so we're gonna keep an eye on that. Now, I just wanted to bring you a quick report to show you, and once again, Chris Anderson, EKB News, I'm reporting for Jenkins. This is the Jenkins Lake Dam that is overflowing right now. This is not unusual for a heavy rain event in the city of Jenkins, but it is happening right now, and this water will converge with Ilkhorn Creek and swell that creek and result in a swelling of the Russell Fork River toward uh, Elkhorn City and on toward Pikeville and past that. So again, just continue to be careful out there. Turn around, don't drown, stick with EKB News. We're going to bring you just as much information as we can to try to keep you and yours safe. Thanks for joining me. Chris Anderson, EKB News, Jenkins, Kentucky.